These days, a strange trend is spreading. Got a little heartburn? Feel some heaviness in your stomach? Straight to the pharmacy, and out comes a capsule. Omeprazole. No doctor, no tests. Just a self-prescribed acid killer. And honestly, it works, at least for a while. You take it, and within a day or two, the burning settles, the discomfort fades. It feels like a miracle, but here's the problem. Some people take omeprazole every day for months, even years, without ever asking why they needed it in the first place. Today, we'll break down how omeprazole works, the hidden risks of long-term use, the real causes of heartburn and how to fix them. And when you actually need this medicine, your stomach is an acid-making powerhouse. Microscopic machines called proton pumps pump out hydrochloric acid, strong enough to dissolve metal, but perfectly contained inside your stomach. Why? Because acid helps break down proteins, kill harmful bacteria, and extract nutrients from food. Omeprazole belongs to a class called proton pump inhibitors, PPIs. They don't just neutralize acid like antacids. They switch off some of your acid pumps, reducing stomach acid for hours at a time. The result? Less acid splashing into your food pipe, less burning, and time for damaged tissue to heal. Short term, this is fine. But long term, shutting down acid production every day changes more than you think. Weak bones osteoporosis. Less acid means reduced calcium absorption. Vitamin B12 deficiency. Omeprazole reduces a chemical called intrinsic factor, which your body needs to absorb B12. Magnesium deficiency, leading to muscle weakness, irregular heartbeat. Gut infections. Acid normally kills many harmful microbes. These aren't guaranteed for everyone, but the longer you take PPIS, the higher the chance. There are many reasons you might feel acid reflux, or GERD. H. Pylori infection, a bacteria living in your stomach for years. Hiatus hernia, part of your stomach pushing into your chest. Obesity, belly fat pushing on the stomach, loosening the valve between stomach and food pipe. Diet triggers, coffee, onion, garlic, spicy food, oily meals. If the root cause isn't found, omeprazole is like painting over a wall leak without fixing the pipe inside. In many countries, you can buy 20 milligrams omeprazole over the counter, and that's the danger. People treat it like a vitamin. You should. Get tested for H. pylori before long-term use. Rule out structural issues like hernia. Only take it for the recommended duration, often 14 days without doctor review. Before or alongside medication, you can cut acid reflux risk massively by eating smaller portions, avoiding lying down for two to three hours after eating, losing excess weight, avoiding tight clothing around the waist, cutting back on coffee, onion, garlic, alcohol, fatty foods, processed carbs, adding yogurt or lassi after meals for soothing effect. These changes can, in many cases, end the need for daily medication. Sometimes you do need omeprazole long-term, severe, chronic GERD not controlled by lifestyle, ulcer healing, prevention for patients taking daily NSAIDs, combination therapy for H. pylori, but even here, NICE guidelines recommend lowest effective dose and regular review. Omeprazole is not a villain. It's one of the most important drugs in modern medicine on the World Health Organization's Essential Medicines list. It's life-changing when used correctly. But misuse, without diagnosis, without review, turns it from a shield into a slow risk. Your stomach acid isn't your enemy. It's part of your survival system. Omeprazole is the switch. Use it wisely and only when the real problem can't be fixed another way. This is for education only. Always speak with a healthcare professional before starting, stopping or changing any medication.